you can make a reel in Canva with the floating bubbles and have it look something like this. I'm Deb Rayley with the Social Tech Team. We teach small business owners how to use digital tools in their business. Let's get into Canva and I'll show you how to make it. To get started in Canva, if you go to the top right of your screen and click on Create a Design, you're going to select the mobile video um, template. There we go. Once you have the template in there, you'll want to have some sort of a background image for the reel. In this case, we're using a still image, so I've gone ahead and uploaded that here into my uploads, and I can just drag that over and size it accordingly. You'll notice at the bottom of your screen that there is one slide and we're actually going to make a series of slides and we're going to continue duplicating this, the first slide that we're working from. So this is a still image and you'll notice it's set for five seconds. I'm really going to adjust this one down to about uh, 0.5 seconds. And if I click on that particular slide up at the top of the screen, you'll see where it says timing. I'm going to change that timing down to uh, 0.5 seconds. I just wanted to show up for just a second. So there are no words at this point on the screen. Those are actually going to show up in subsequent slides. So what I'll do is I'll highlight this first slide. I click on the three dots. I say duplicate the page. And the reason we're going to continue duplicating the page is because we don't want anything to move as we continue on creating this reel. We want the elements that we put onto the image to really stay in that same position going forward because you are going to add one slide for each element that you're planning to add. So in this case, we're going to add some words here. So I have my second slide. I'm going to adjust the timing of this one to go from uh, 0.5 seconds. And now going forward, they're all going to be about 1.5 seconds. So I have my slide and now I want to add a word. So on the left hand side of the screen, I'll click the T for text. I'll add a heading. I'm going to size this to whatever size I want it to be. I'll change the wording here and I'm going to say um, free refills. I can see that the lettering is default is black, which I don't want it to be. So I'm going to highlight all of the letters click on the text color in the top of my screen. I'm going to change it to white. I'm also, I, I like to have everything capitalized, so I'm going to make this uppercase adjustment there. And now let's apply an effect to the text. So if I select effect in my top menu, on the left side of the screen, you see where it says background, you'll click this, and the background defaults to black. But instead of black, I want it to pick up a color that's going to complement this image that is in the background. So if I click on this black square on the lower left of my screen, you'll see my color palette pops up. Click on the add new color and then grab your medicine dropper. Hover over a color in the background image and let's make that the color. There we go. So now it's changed. All right, so we've got the bubble in there, the word bubble, but let's give it a little bit of animation and movement so that it's a little bit more engaging when, when it shows up. The way we do that is we highlight that text box and up at the top, where right next to effects, we click on animate. And in the video that I made, I like to use the stomp animation. So I'm going into text animations and go to stomp. Now, when I select this, the option at the bottom is asking, do you want this effect to happen when that slide shows up, like in the beginning and at the end? Do you only want it to show up in the beginning or do you only want it to show up at the end? In every situation that we're going to be using, we only want it to show up when it enters. When that, when that uh, slide enters, we want it to have the animation. So I'm going to make sure it says on enter and we're in good shape. Now we're ready to move on to the next slide. So because I want this, the free refills, to stay exactly where it is, I'm going to duplicate this slide. So on the bottom, I'm going to click on my three dots and say duplicate the page. So now I'm working on my third slide. And you can see the refills is exactly where it was before. I'm going to highlight the refills. I'm going to do a couple of things here. 
since I duplicated the page, it also duplicates the animation. I don't want the animation to repeat. I only want that animation to happen one time and that's when it shows up the first time. I just want the words to stay there. So I've highlighted this page and I click on free refills. If I click on, I click on free refills and at the top you can see where it says stomp. That tells me that the animation is there. So if I click on stomp again, I want to go down on the left and I want to remove the animation for that. I want it to, because remember, I only want it to animate on the second slide because that's when it's introduced into the reel and I want it to stay there the rest of the time. So what I want to do now is I want to add another word. So really just because I want it to look the same, I'm going to click on free refills and the three dots and I'm going to duplicate that. And I'm going to make a little adjustment here. I'm going to change the wording. Fast service. And I'm going to change the coloring. So remember how we change the coloring? We make sure the, the text box is highlighted. Go up to effects. And then go down on the left. We're going to click on the red box now. Pick up my medicine dropper. And let's just pick up another color. Let's go to uh, more of that orange color there. There we go. We want to be sure, so this one, free refills, has no animation. Fast service has no animation. So I want to animate fast service because that's the new element that I've introduced. So I'm going to click on animate and I'll scroll down and I'll say stomp on enter. And that's pretty good right there. So I've got free refills, I've got fast service. Let's do one more. I'll do that one with you together. So clicking again on the three dots at the bottom, we're going to duplicate the page. So everything on here is duplicated. There's my free refills. There's my fast service, but remember it has the animation. So for that, I want to, now I want to remove the animation and I'll duplicate this wording and I'll give it a different phrase. Just throw that in there. And then let's change the color. I'm going to effects. I'm going to change it from orange to some other color. Pick up my medicine dropper. And we want to check that animation. And it, so it does not have an animation because it's new. So we're going to go up to animation and we'll make this one stomp on enter. And let's just double check the others. So this fast service, because I'm on the last slide, so I need to remove that animation on fast service. Oh, it's already removed, okay. And I want to make sure that's, yep, it's removed. So let's just play it through from the beginning and see how it's looking. Okay, so you can see how it went in and out. It goes out, it goes out. We don't want it to go out. So let's check those animations. Free refills, let's scroll down. It says, see it went, it changed it, it went back to both. So let's go on enter. And then let's click on level two. Let's check that animation. Okay, and this animation we want to say on enter. And then this last animation, we want that to say on enter. So now let's try this again. we go there we go there we go okay so now if you want to add wording to this or not wording music <laughs> on the left side of your screen you have audio so click on audio and you can search the audio here you can also save this without audio and add audio when you upload it as a reel or upload it as a TikTok, and you can use their audio I myself like to have the audio already on here because then I can now upload this wherever I want to without having to worry about watermarks or anything like that. So I used uh, this particular music called Killing Me Instrumental and I just found that by searching something that was upbeat. So when you find a music that you like, you'll just click and add that. Now the last thing that I added um, were these little hearts and I found that under the elements, if you wanted to add something like that, you could just type in floating hearts uh, or floating like signs and those would come up. So when you find those, you just click on it and drag it over however you want it, uh, wherever you want it to be placed. And if you're doing that on your last slide, you are gonna need to extend the time of your last slide to five seconds to give it enough time for that to float all the way up. 
So you can see I've gone through in this example and I have all of my slides in here. My timings are set for 0.5 seconds and then 1.5 seconds for one, two, three, four, five, six slides. He has one slide for each element that came in. And on each element, they all have that same stomp on enter uh, animation. And then on the last slide, I have it set for five seconds and I added uh, those elements of the floating hearts so that when we come back to the beginning and we play it, There we go. Everything checks out and I'm now ready to save it. I do that by clicking on share in the top right of my screen, clicking on download, and you're going to download this as an MP4 file so you can now upload it to wherever you'd like to share your reel. Give it a try and good luck.